Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And earlier, we did this awesome lesson where we created a virtual zoo brochure. If somehow you missed this, I will put a link up in the corner so that you can go back and do that. But now that we've got our project done, we need to cite our sources. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Of course, our first step is to load the virtual zoo, and you need to make sure that you had it on one page. If it wasn't one page, cool things that you can do are to shrink your virtual zoo words. You can also move your cool title to the left, and instead of break text, switch to wrap text. You can then tweak and adjust so that it actually gets all the words exactly where you want them. That lets you still get the point across about it being a virtual zoo and the welcome before you add your cool facts. Now in your project, you should have used three different websites to find your facts, and you created a link that you can click on and it actually opens the web page. If when you click on that, you get a Google page, well then you didn't do it correctly and you need to find the real website where it has the information that we use. Once you've got your website open, then I want you to go back to Google Docs and I want you to go to add-ons and under the add-ons menu, I want you to do get add-ons. And then the add-on we need is called Easy Bib Bibliography Creator. I've already got mine added, so I just need you to add yours and then we can move on so you can see how to use it. Using the add-on is as simple as clicking the very top of the page and copying the URL. Move back to your doc and do the add-on Easy Bib and do Manage the Bibliography. When it launches, make sure that you remember we are doing websites, so we have to switch to the website option. If yours pops an error, it's because you did not do that. Paste in that URL and click the search button, and it will track down the information we had. So mine was the 20 facts about penguins. Yours will be different, but you need to do select. You then need to go down to your second one. Once again, click visit the site. If it pops up something like this, you did it right. If it pops up this Google search, then you did it incorrectly and you need to find the real facts. When you've got the correct website, select the URL at top and copy it. Move back to your document. Make sure you're on the website choice. Paste it in. Search. When you find the website, you need to select it. Now your bibliography will have two pieces. And then finally, find the third piece as well. I'll do it because it's so quick. Once again, if yours goes to a Google search, you need to fix that. Make sure I'm on website. Right-click, paste, search. I do want to select that bibliography. And now that I've got all three pieces... I can add the bibliography to my doc. It'll show up down near the bottom. We want to make sure that it is on the second page. So click in front of Works Cited. And we want to insert a break. And we want a page break. So that means our awesome virtual zoo is on the first page and our Works Cited are on the second page. Friends, that is how easy it is to cite your work when you're making a project like this. When you've got yours done, I would like you, if you're in my class, to give me a screenshot of the work cited. And at that point, you can turn it into Google Classroom. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.